Hello, I'm Dr. Adam Staten, and I'll show you how to take a fingerprint blood test at home. As you'll see, it's quick and simple, and usually takes about 15 minutes to complete. Important tips before you start. Take your sample on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday or Thursday, and not on or before weekends or bank holidays. Post your sample back on the same day to avoid delays in getting it to the lab. Any delays might lead to your sample deteriorating. The best time to take your test is in the morning before breakfast. Read other special instructions like fasting or avoiding certain foods for your particular test on the test page on our website. Drink water. This is really important. Make sure you're well hydrated by drinking one or two full glasses of water in the 30 minutes before the test. Prepare your kit by taking the contents out of the box and laying them out on the table. First of all, read your kit's instructions in full very carefully, including warnings. Open up your plaster in advance and allow plenty of room. Warm up and wash your hands. Soak your hands in warm water for at least four minutes just before you start. Dry your hands thoroughly. Now you're ready, let's start. Take the coloured cap off the tube and insert the tube into the cutout hole on the box. Wipe your ring finger on your non-dominant hand with the alcohol swab and let it dry completely. Twist and remove the cap from the lancet. Press the lancet firmly down on the side of your fingertip until it clicks and hold for two seconds. Wipe away the first drop of blood with a dry gauze pad. Keep your finger pointing downwards and place it above the open tube. Gently massage your finger in a downwards direction, but do not squeeze the fingertip. Aim for the blood drops to lightly touch the inside of the tube lip. Continue massaging your finger. Do not scrub your finger on the tube lip. Scraping and squeezing the collection area will damage the blood cells and prevent accurate results. Fill your collection tube to between the two black lines marked on the tube. If you have not collected enough blood or you need to fill a second tube, use the next finger with a new lancet. Do not use your thumb or little finger. Once the tube is filled, quickly attend to your wound, wipe it and apply a plaster. Put the coloured cap back on the tube firmly to make sure it clicks and seals. Once the tube is firmly closed, gently flip the tube up and down 10 times to allow the chemicals to mix with the sample. Do not shake the sample. How to package and return your sample to our laboratory for testing. Clearly write the time and date of sample collection on the label at the back of the biohazard pouch. Place the tube into the biohazard pouch, peel off the strip on the top and seal the pouch. Place the sealed pouch into the box and then place the box inside the plastic postal return envelope. Post your parcel the same day you took the sample. Do not post on weekends prior to or during bank holidays. Receiving your results. We aim to provide most of the results within a day of your blood sample arriving at our laboratory. We will email you once your result is ready. You will then be able to view the results on a PDF file and on your dashboard. Here it is. And if you have any questions or need any assistance, please contact us and we will be happy to help.